So it seemed rather clear to me that there was a connection between money and enlistment. A, it seemed obvious that the poor had carried the burden of the war, at least in my hometown. And B, it seemed that money had had something to do with their enlistment, because the poorer they were, the, the more the, the lower compensation appealed to them. Well, I had uh, read uh, that Jim McPherson had uh, written about Civil War uh, soldier motivation about this time, and uh, he concluded that Union soldiers enlisted primarily for patriotic motives and partially for altruistic motives. Um, patriotic meaning they enlisted to save the Union, altruistic to end slavery, and a few other motives that he, uh, that he deduced from, from reading a lot of manuscripts. And uh, I wrote to him and I, I sent him the results of my local study and uh, those of you who know Jim McPherson must know that he's probably the most kind-hearted person working in this field. And although I was just a woodchuck from the North Country, he, he engaged in a little exchange, postal exchange with me on this subject. And he suggested that uh, people make life choices for a, a variety of reasons, that uh, maybe patriotism wasn't the sole reason some enlisted. Maybe altruism was not, maybe money was not. Um, and he, he really discounted the money issue and he, he used himself as an example. He said, for instance, I'm going off to speak here in a few weeks and I'm going to get paid for it, but I'm not going because of the money. And my response to that, at least internally, was, well, there's a difference between you and me because if I'm not getting paid, I'm not going anywhere. But, but there, um, there are many differences between me and Jim McPherson. I, for instance, I mentioned how kind-hearted he is. Um, but I, for many years, I supposed that, that perhaps he was right, that maybe money was not the overriding issue. Maybe it wasn't that much of an issue. 